Today we're going to take a look at the wireless transmission devices. Now my team have told me in Dow HQ that these only need two modifications made and they will synchronize and pair to each other. So the model numbers of our wireless transmission device is as so DH-PFWB5-30AC. Now talking about that 30 on the end there, that's actually talking about the angle of the bi-directional beam. So if it's 30, then of course that's a 30 degrees. If we're looking at AC, then that's talking about the wireless frequency. So of course you've got N and then of course you've got AN and then of course you also have AC for the higher throughput. Okay, let's get these devices connected. have my configuration tool running here because theoretically speaking if this works as according to plan then of course I will see a camera that I have mounted onto the shed outside right okay so this is the default configuration page and of course we've got tons of data that we need to overlook uh, we've got passwords that we can change we got frequency strength that we can in fact actually look at but let's just get into this um, section here so click on settings at the top it defaults to station wds tdm3 now i just need so that means i've got two stations so i just need one of them to be in access point auto wds so i'm going to click on that one there save changes save and now that's going to make the antenna reboot okay I'm, I'm back in. Now what I need to do is I need to click on network on the left. And this is 36, so I'm gonna change this to 35. Press on save. Okay, let's log in. Admin. Admin. You just need to make two modifications. Of course we can go and change the credentials of the devices and we can uh, heighten the level of security but uh, the least change is possible. So uh, top right hand corner it says now station one and of course obviously there is one connected to the shed. Uh, the strength appears to be fantastic. All right let's go take a look then. So oh excellent. Look at that. So everything is all wireless. My conclusion is as follows. This is incredibly easy to configure. We just changed the default IP address from 1.36 to 1.35. The one on the shed is in access point mode. Well, that one's likely to be in station. This one's now in access point mode. It's on the auto WDS and having the two branded wireless access transmission devices, they've already communicated to each other. I'm looking at the seconds on this particular um, web page here uh, and they're fluent, you know, there's no latency. It doesn't look like there's any lag. Uh, the time is correct. This has been incredibly easy. Right, for more great content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All the best.